Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And for today's video, I am going to be reviewing a gel polish system from the brand Manucurist. Uh, so they are a French nail brand and they have what they tout as uh, the world's first plant-based LED nail polish. It's supposed to go on like a gel and remove like a polish. Uh, so I was really intrigued by this. I first heard about it, I think, through Florida Force. Yeah, what really intrigued me about it was I definitely prefer the application of gel manicures because I feel like uh, no matter what I do, uh, I always end up smudging a nail, bumping it somehow. Like I'm just too impatient to wait for it to fully dry. And then I feel like the top coat often bubbles. But on the other hand, gel polish is difficult to remove. You have to soak it in acetone. So the idea that I could get kind of the best of both worlds, the application of gel and having it be kind of uh, dry immediately and not have to wait around for it, but then also be able to remove it whenever I wanted without too much trouble uh, was super attractive to me. So uh, I finally ended up purchasing this set and the one I purchased was actually originally supposed to ship in a different bag. It was like a little red bag. Uh, but it shipped in this larger bag, I guess, because the other one was out of stock. Uh, this is the bag that usually comes with their kit with five custom colors. You can pick whichever colors you like. Uh, it also has a different lamp, which I'll talk about in a moment. But uh, anyway, I think the other bag was, I guess, a little bit more attractive, a little cuter. But uh, this is the one I ended up with. And I guess on the topic of customer service and that kind of thing. Uh, I think I did get an email saying that they were going to be substituting the bag, which honestly, I don't know if I even saw that email, but it's fine. Uh, but then I also had some issues with the shipping. So I think the original package they sent was just lost in the mail and it has never shown up. And it did involve kind of a protracted back and forth with customer service to get them to uh, send out a replacement package, which then uh, arrived pretty quickly. So that was kind of frustrating. And because they are a French company, uh, you want to make sure that if you type it in, it's M-A-N-U-C-U-R-I-S-T instead of M-A-N-I. So that always trips me up when I was going to the website. But uh, yeah, they do have on their email that you can respond in either French or English, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I also wish this zipper kind of extended over, I guess, the size of the bag to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you how I have everything in here. So uh, I put the lamp in here and it does fold flat, which is really nice for storage. Uh, you also get the USB cable uh, to turn it on. And then this is the remover. So it doesn't have acetone, so we'll see how this does in a moment because uh, I do actually have the polish applied. And as you can tell, I guess from the uh, state of my nails with the growth and the chipping, uh, I've actually had this on for two full weeks. Uh, so uh, just to give you a little bit of a preview in terms of the wear, so I'm going to kind of do this a little bit backwards and that I'm going to remove the polish I already have on and then uh, I'm going to apply a new color. Uh, so you get a separate base coat and top coat with the set. I'm not sure exactly why you have a different one. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a no wipe top coat if you're familiar with gel polish, but anyway. Uh, and then we have three different shades here. So the one I'm currently wearing is their fuchsia shade. And, you know, I guess a little bit about, I guess, quality. Like, the bottle itself is fine. I don't mind it. But the sticker, like, it's a little off-center and it looks like it's a little worn. So, you know, presentation-wise, it doesn't feel, I guess, that luxurious. Uh, and this isn't a cheap system so i think the the full price of the system is like a hundred dollars and each individual polish will run you about 20 which isn't honestly that much different from like a 
an OPI gel polish that you can purchase from like beauty retailer sites. Uh, let's see what the volume is. Yeah, same volume. So when you're comparing it that way, it's not that bad, but definitely compared to a typical polish, uh, it is more expensive. And you do get the lamp. Um, so there's that. That wouldn't be like a repurchase or anything. Yeah, but each of these normally retails for $19. Uh, you can get a slight discount if you purchase multiple shades at a time. Uh, but anyway, so I got this fuchsia shade, like I said, and then I also got this, which is their, it doesn't have it on here, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but this is their like typical red shade. I forget what it's called. I want to say it's red cherry. And then uh, this is the shade, again, it's not on here. I don't know if they are, okay, it's on, it's on this small little label. This is Red Cherry and this is Hortensia. Uh, I'm not sure if they are kind of going through some rebranding, but yeah, each of these labels is a little bit different. So, I don't know, you would expect a little bit of uniformity across um, how they're branding those. But yeah, so I have the fuchsia shades. So I'll be doing the red shade today and also this Hortensia, which I think is supposed to be a sheer. So I'll be demoing those two colors. And then you get five gel removal clips. Uh, so the idea here is that you saturate your cotton pad or whatever with the remover. And I think this is a glass bottle. Uh, you saturate it and then you use this to kind of clip it on. So a little bit easier than, I guess, aluminum foil or whatever else. So I'm sure other companies make this or you can find it from eBay or Amazon or whatever, but we'll be trying that out. And then this is the lamp, like I said. And you'll note that it has different buttons for the base and the color versus the top. Uh, which we'll talk about and then this has little feet so you just hold it open and then stick your hand in like so and on the topic of wear before i remove these so i had forgotten that the lamp originally shipped in this box it was a few weeks before i actually did my nails but i'd stashed the instructions in that box so i didn't find them uh, before i did that first manicure i've done gel manicures at home before so i kind of knew what to expect but there were some things that i wasn't totally aware of i guess when i was doing it so i'll explain that in a moment but uh yeah they're free of a lot of ingredients they're supposed to be pretty clean whatever that means to you uh bio sourced ingredients and they have corn i think in their nail polish uh which is why uh, they included some stickers, so if you wanted to personalize your lamp, I think is the idea. Uh, I'll probably forego that, but yeah, some cute stickers, and that's why we have an ear of corn on there. So, always love when I get stickers in the mail. So, this is, it says the first clean gel nail polish that removes like a regular nail polish. And yeah, it has the kind of quick instructions here and it has French and then English. They do have a video, but I think the video was originally filmed in French and then they just took out the audio. So it doesn't really, I guess, provide as much information as you might want. And then I guess this is just the, the lamp kind of instructions. So, all right, let's see what it says about removal. So this is the first time I am removing things on camera and it's supposed to remove in one minute. Uh, I guess before I do remove it, I just want to quickly discuss the wear. So uh, if I didn't already say, I've had this polish on for two weeks and I think they only promise like 10 days. Yeah, long wear for up to 10 days. So uh, we have some obvious chips here which primarily it's my two like pointer or index fingers. So I think those are the fingers or nails that you tend to use the most often anyway. So you would expect those to get more wear. Uh, a little bit of a chip on the pinky and then a little bit of wear on this thumb. But if you were, I guess, looking at my nails from a distance, if it weren't for those two fingers, 
especially this one, it wouldn't really, I guess, stand out to you. Uh, there's some obvious growth going on, uh, but yeah, in general, I'm pretty impressed. And really what I feel like did this finger in, if I can get it to focus, that might be the best I can do. Uh, but I don't know if you can tell that there's kind of some peeling and chipping on the actual fingernail itself. And it was like that before I applied the polish. So I think because the underlying nail was a bit compromised, that just led to the polish kind of chipping and coming up. So, so I think all in all, this was a very successful kind of two week experiment. It was even longer than they promised. I'm especially heartened because as I said in my, like what I brought to London video, I was really struggling to, I guess, find a manicure that would last for more than two weeks. Uh, even when I've done like dip nails in the past or um, I tried some of those press on nails. It just seems like they always pop off sooner than they're supposed to. So uh, that was kind of a, I guess, headache trying to figure out a polish or manicure that would last. Uh, so this is definitely, I think, what I'll be wearing when I go to London at the end of April. So I'm only going for 10 days, uh, which is less than the length of time I've had this manicure on. Uh, so I feel, I guess, pretty confident in that. And I won't have to bring like, I guess, a remover with me. I was thinking I could pack this. It is flat. So it would be pretty travel friendly if you wanted. And because it's a USB power source, you wouldn't have to worry about adapters or whatever, but still. All right, so this is, like I said, a new, new kind of experiment for me. Let's see if I cut these up. Normally I do cut up the cotton I used to remove polish. Obviously it just makes it go a little bit further and you don't need a huge piece to remove. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and go in here. I don't love the just kind of this pore mechanism. Yeah. Oof kind of smells like nail polish remover, but it's supposed to be acetone free. All right, so we'll clip that on. And I guess I'll just start the timer once I get all of these on. They do feel like they're able to kind of be very tight to the nail. So that's good. And of course, I'm going to need one more cotton pad. So I'll go ahead and cut that up. If you've never removed gel polish at home, I mean, usually I kind of give it at least 10 minutes when it's wrapped in foil before I try to remove it. And then often I will even take like an E or electronic nail file to kind of, it didn't say to buff the surface, right? Yeah, and that's usually a step you take with gel manicures as well. All right, last one here. And a little bit more difficult now. <laughs> All right, so let's start the timer for one, no, one minute. And while we're counting down, I'll just note that the ingredients of this are ethyl acetate. I'm not sure how that's different than acetone. Uh, denatured alcohol, castor seed oil, fragrance. I'm um, not going to be able to pronounce that. Some type of butyl acetate and then some dyes, I think. My husband is in the kitchen, so if you hear any noise in the background, um, but I want to try and kind of capture the true time elapse here. So I'll start with uh, this pinky. And oh, wow literally just just came off just like that and that is i think sometimes what you get when the polish does remove too quickly is just like a a full full piece there i think it feels like there's some residue kind of stuff so i might I might go over that in a moment <laughs> um 
yeah, so I think now I can fully endorse this system because I am super impressed. Okay, that is coming up in a few more pieces. And okay, this is taking a little bit more probably because these just were on a little bit less. So I don't know, maybe, maybe give it like two minutes. I'm just going to stick that back on for a second and just go over. Yeah, I really wonder if there's anything kind of special about this nail polish remover that you need their specific brand. Obviously, I need to file my nails now, but I mean, compared to the normal gel polish remover, that was that was pretty, pretty easy. And uh, on the topic of wear as well, I'm not the most careful with my nails, but I do like wear gloves when I wash dishes, mostly because I don't want to dry out my hands, not so much my manicure. Uh, but I think still, I wonder if I can just reuse this. My fingers do feel like they're throbbing a bit when I'm placing these cups on, but I guess you could decide how kind of firm you wanted to have them. Uh, but obviously the firmer or the closer they are in contact with your polish, kind of the better the polish remover will work. And again, I'm just reusing what I just had. Just want to see if I can avoid wasting it basically. And they still feel kind of damp, so that one it's also just easier, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give that a minute or so. Okay, so that was a minute. I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't work quite as well because. I reused it, but let's see. Yeah. I mean, it's still coming off. And I probably, like I said, could have given it another minute or so. still like again like I just can't even say how much easier this is than traditional gel removal so it looks like if you wanted to just reuse the same cotton and nail polish remover I'll have to clean all this up before I do the application. Yeah, and so you definitely can. So I guess that helps with the kind of expense. You might just have to leave it on a little bit longer. It does look like it might be drying out the skin on my fingers a little bit, which is kind of typical with acetone. Yeah, and like, I don't know if you can see now, like even this nail, this middle finger was pretty badly kind of compromised. And so I think I'll just take a little bit more on a clean cotton. Just to kind of go over everything. Definitely need to go wash my hands. All right. So I think, I think that's it. And I don't know if that was even like five minutes. 
trying to see if I have any kind of the base coat on any of these nails. I'm going to trim them anyway, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, not, not too shabby at all. All right, so I'm going to wash my hands, kind of trim and file my nails, and then I'll be back to do the application. All right, so I am back, and I also remember to put my wedding ring on. I've been leaving it off more often than not because I'm trying to clear up some eczema, and it's been a little tight, to be honest, so I probably need to get it uh, resized. But anyway, uh, yeah, I chopped off basically all of my fingernails because... In part, that's the easiest way to, I don't know, get an even shape and everything. But uh, also, I wanted to get as much of the kind of damage off my nails as I could. Uh, and I think in large part, that damage was caused by like removing uh, gel polish in the past or press on nails or something to that effect. Uh, so just to let you know what I used. Uh, so I think this might actually be like a toenail scissor, but I like to use it for my fingernails. I don't even remember where I got it, but I think it's just kind of a drugstore one. Uh, and then I always like the kind of glass or crystal nail files um, because they're gentler on the nail. I think this one was from Nail Tech, but the kind of writing has all worn off. And then I removed my cuticles using the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover and uh, an orange stick, and then I like these little cuticle nippers from Tweezerman. Uh, I don't actually remove the cuticle like around the base most often. Uh, I just kind of get any hangnails or whatever. So uh, that is where we are with the nails. And to begin the actual manicure, so uh, it suggests that for a long lasting manicure, uh, you degrease, <laughs> degrease the nails with the green flash nail polish remover. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that even though after using the cuticle remover and washing my hands, uh, they're pretty, I think, degreased. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and do that. Again, just to remove any lingering vestiges of the base coat that hasn't come up. And you can also generally just do this with like denatured alcohol, like if you have any alcohol wipes or anything, those are pretty good, uh, especially because the ones that are packaged individually tend to be kind of lint-free. Just go ahead and go over. All right, so let's talk about the lamp. And I have a little paper towel down here to kind of hopefully protect the surface, uh, but I have this already plugged in, the USB part, and this is a I want to say micro USB. So I assume you could use a different one if you needed to, but anyway. So, all right, so I'm going to prop this up and I haven't used this on my toenails, but I think I could because um, it has a pretty wide and open base to it. Uh, and I wasn't sure how that was going to work, if it would be as effective as the other LED lamp that I've used in the past, which is, just trying to make room here. In the past, I've been using this one from Sensational, which I've had for, I think, years now. Yeah, so this is the one I've been using in the past. And as you can tell, it has a pretty defined opening. And really, I was only able to fit kind of my four fingers, and then I would have to do my thumb separately. Uh, last time, I did all five fingers at once, uh, which definitely helps the process go faster. Uh, and this one also had like a traditional plug. So I guess it's nice that you have the flexibility with the USB. And this one, I guess I could fit my foot in, I've never tried. It says 12 volt. Manicurist does make other lamps, like the one that comes with the larger kit that's kind of curved. It doesn't fold flat like this one. I think that one is supposed to work faster if that is kind of your chief concern. But in general, I don't think it's too bad um, just using this one. So, okay, what we wanna do first, and they do have the numbers on the top. So we have the 
base coat and then the two colors and then the top coat. So it is pretty easy to keep track. Uh, it's interesting because like other gel polishes I've tried, other systems like this one from Orly had a primer, uh, but this one doesn't, which is nice. It's another step you can avoid. I think that's basically like a glue. Yeah, and they have like a base and top coat. So I'm not sure why Green Flash has a separate base and top coat. Maybe it's that the base coat is more tacky and the top coat is a non-wipe. Uh, I'm not not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, what we do here, so take the base coat and it says to apply in thin layers and cap the free edge of the nail. Yeah, and the sticker is coming up a little bit. So I don't really have much of a free edge to be honest. So I might skip that step, but I guess with all gel polish in general, I find that when I take a shower, especially it's pretty easy to just kind of pick off whatever might have gotten onto the skin, but it's probably going to take a couple of weeks for this to grow out anyway. And I'm wondering if I should turn up the light. Uh, I have an automatic ISO on my camera. I think that's better, uh, which with all this white looking at it, it kind of decreases the light. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here and that is what the brush looks like. So honestly, it's kind of my preferred style of brush. It's flat, but then rounded at the tip. And I'm trying to be in frame here while also being precise is not the easiest. Okay, so just going like that. Yeah, my application might suffer a little bit here because I'm not right over my nails. And I kind of dip in and then remove the excess against the top. And you could do your thumbs separately if you wanted to, but for the sake of time, I just want to do all of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick my whole hand in here and press the base button. And you'll see that it counts down from 60. And when I first did it, I guess because I was used to uh, the Sensational lamp, like it would beep at 30 seconds, which was how long it would take to cure like the base or the top coat. And then the color coats would take 60 seconds. Uh, so I assumed, I guess that when I was using the instructions, I was thinking, okay, it's just one round of 60 seconds, but uh, the lamp will automatically turn off. So uh, you want to go ahead and keep your hand underneath there for the full duration. It just kind of counts back again from 60 seconds. And I think this might be where the faster or other lamp comes into play is that you don't have to wait as long. All right, so there it has turned off, so you know it's done. And now we go ahead and go in with the color. So we wanna do two layers and I'm going to, is my camera starting to fall again? Okay, hopefully that's better. All right, so I'm going to do the red cherry uh, I was shaking it kind of out of habit. Uh, so I think just so we can see kind of how a sheer polish looks, I might do my ring finger as an accent nail. So again, trying to do this from a distance is a little bit of a challenge. But yeah, I think it's pretty easy to get, let's zoom in just a tad, a nice clean line around the cuticle with the shape of this nail brush. Although, like I said, I'm kind of doing it from a bit of a distance. Oh, I, I forgot already. Maybe I will do, 
Maybe I'll just do my other hand. And I'm not capping the nail, like I said, because my nails are so short. I'm still getting some on the actual finger. Um, I thought I did off camera because it's just too hard <laughs> to do that. And if I get any kind of in the nail well, I think that's what it's called, I just take a little orange stick and try to wipe it away before I cure it. Okay, so that is the first coat and I'm going to stick it under here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat. I like just doing one, one hand at a time a lot of times. I think, you know, it does give pretty good coverage on one coat, but I'm just gonna do two. I feel like I have enough polish still on the brush. I just go ahead and do the next finger. So again, did the thumb off oops, camera and I'm going for round. Yeah, probably don't wanna put a paper towel on top of it. I feel like in general, I'm just kind of klutz <laughs> to be honest. And I am right handed. I think it works out that I'm doing the sheerer color on my dominant hand using my non-dominant hand. Okay, so I'm just trying to smooth out any like blemishes, which is one of the advantages to gel polish is that you can kind of tinker with it a little bit and then kind of lock it in place with the lamp. All right, so the color has been cured and going in now with the top coat, which is number three. And I don't know if I explicitly said this earlier, but the first time I did this, I think I was assuming that some of these layers, like the base layer only took 60 seconds or that it was just going to continuously repeat and not turn off. So I was pulling out my hand after the 60 seconds, the first one, and it still wore just fine. So I'm not telling you to ignore the instructions. And honestly, another minute is not, not the end of the world, but I did it wrong the first time and Okay, so this is interesting. So I don't know if you can tell, those those two fingers where I kind of redid the nail after I bumped them, I think with the cotton, they're starting to look a little, I don't know how to describe it. It's like plastic wrap kind of that's been smudged. Maybe these are kind of more like traditional nail polish in a way in that you really just kind of want to get it right the first time because otherwise it's just not not looking great but I guess the the flip side to that is that because this is easily removed if you do need to redo a finger it's not the end of the world and I'm not experiencing any of the kind of burning sensation that sometimes you get. I forget what it's called, but yeah, I haven't really experienced that. Yeah, so this is doing another cycle. I don't know why there's a different button between the base and the color and the top. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the long run other than, I guess you would have to purchase a separate product, but then in theory it should last twice as long, so. Oh, so this is going for a third cycle. I guess that's the difference. See, we're learning together. It does feel a little warm in general, but it's not unpleasant. Okay, so now that is done. And yeah, those two fingers, hopefully you can see, let me figure out of this. Uh, they do look just a tad bit wrinkled. I might redo those, to be honest. But the other ones look look good. All right, so I am back and I actually just redid the full process on these four nails here. And I can at least tell you that uh, the removal process on freshly applied nails 
is just as easy as it was on the two week manicure. So at least there's that in case you do need to uh, redo any of your nails. Uh, I did also look up as I was doing that. Uh, this bottle of remover is $16 for the 3.3 ounces that you get. Uh, so definitely not as cost effective as kind of your drugstore nail polish remover. So uh, I just thought I would mention that, but it seems to uh, do really well. So uh, that is it for this hand. Hopefully we're all done. And now I am going to go in with the sheer polish on the other hand. So I'll be having a kind of split uh, manicure here. I'll get my glass out of the way. Okay, so let's start off with this polish and I'll probably speed through this base coat application. All right, so the base coat is applied and now I'm going to go in with that Hortensia shade. Uh, so this is meant to be sheer. So I'm really curious kind of how this looks on the nail. I have a tendency to want to kind of build up sheer shades, even though they're meant to be sheer. So I think, I think that looks pretty even. I guess I'll go ahead and cure that. Ideally, you don't want to keep your polish right next to the lamp. I mean, they are an opaque bottle, so that helps, but. All right, so that is one coat done. Let's go ahead and try to get second coat on here. All right, so that is the second coat. All right, so I feel like I might have gotten some kind of, if you'll be able to see that, kind of fuzz or hair in this nail, which I didn't notice before I cured it. So not, not ideal, but uh, this nail also looks a tad bit streaky. I think I might go ahead and do a third coat, which they don't say to do, but part of the benefit to using gel polish for sheer nail polish is that you can kind of build it up and since you're curing it in between you don't end up with like five coats of nail polish on your nail at a time that are trying to dry so i like a little bit more of an opaque coverage and since my nails are so short i'm not worrying too much about like i guess how the the free edge of the nail would look. But I think this three coats is a pretty, pretty kind of finish. All right, so I'll go ahead and cure that. And obviously if you have any kind of ridges in your nails, that will tend to make the polish, especially sheer polishes uneven. Uh, so that may be something to address either by kind of buffing them or using, I guess you could use like a ridge filler, like a normal polish underneath this, but I haven't tried that. Okay, so the third coat is done curing and I can't remember the last time if ever I ever did a kind of split manicure like this, but I think the last thing to do is just put on the top coat here. All right, so I think we are officially done now. And just to show you, like, this is a clean cotton, didn't have any remover on it. And these have been done for a while, but still. So no kind of sticky layer to remove. Everything is fully set and dry, and those are what the nails look like. So this is the kind of sheer Hortensia shade, and this is the red cherry shade. This is three coats, and this is two coats. So 
Uh, that is going to do it for this review. As hopefully you know by now, I am fully kind of on board with this system and I am looking forward to uh, trying new shades. I do plan to buy more. All right, so quick little update here on my iPhone. I'm in the process of editing the video and uh, I did want to let you know that I've purchased five additional shades. And I actually have this one on my nails right now. This is the Rose Mountbatten shade. And as you can tell, it is a lot more of like a taupey shade than like the mauve it looks like on the website. With this set, I guess in general, I have experienced some um, variations, I guess. So this shade I also got is uh, Old Rose and I started to apply this one, but there was something weird with the formula. Like it looked like there were a lot of like fibers or something in the nail. So I removed that one right away and went in with this one. Uh, and this one of the color is off, but otherwise, you know, the formulation, everything seems fine. Uh, and I've had this on for over a week. I can't remember exactly when I applied it. And I think like on this side of the thumb where it probably got the least amount of the LED light. Uh, see if I can show you my other thumb. I think that has experienced the most wear and tear in addition to just being, I guess, a common, a common area of your nail to use. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing your thumbs by themselves as I think I inserted in the video. And you know, there's some tip wear, but still still going pretty strong so uh yeah not my favorite color and unfortunately it wasn't quite as nice as it looked like on the website so if you like this color um, that's what it is just know that it looks a little bit different uh this one i wouldn't recommend and then the other three i tried i got this one which is victoria plum haven't tried that one yet and then this one is some kind of like shimmery shade diamond i guess and then this one I plan to apply next. I thought it would be a pretty kind of Eastery color. And this one is Lisa Lilas, I guess. Again, like the, no, it's right there too. Yeah, the branding, as you can tell on these as well, is a little bit different. So here it has the name of the shade. This one has a different colored label. And then this one, yeah, I guess these are kind of the same. I should look at their newest collection because I think they just launched some new colors to kind of see what might be, you know, what they're using going forward. This is the fuchsia shade I had on initially. And then these, these are the two uh, that I try in the video. And they do have different colored uh, stickers on the top. So there is that if you have them kind of in a drawer or whatever where you uh, want to just be able to figure out what shade it is at a glance. So do appreciate that. But anyway, that is my little update. Yeah, for me, the kind of instant dry factor coupled with the easy removal is kind of a game changer. And I am uh, very excited to kind of have this as an option now. So. Uh, yeah, this will probably be my go-to manicure going forward once I have a few more shades in my collection and I have quite a few nail polishes I could probably get rid of just because I'm so kind of in love with how this works. Uh, there were a couple kind of hiccups and growing pains, I guess you could say, just things I needed to learn along the way. But in general, uh, I think this is a really great great manicure system. So I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Please let me know if you did down below. And until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.